Hey Pixies! Today we're doing a Revel video on their Sensitive Dip Liquid set. So we're gonna look at that in a minute, but let me show you what else I ordered. I ordered Hopelessly Devoted set. This one is Sweetheart. Um, I did not order the whole set. I just ordered this one. And then I ordered High Tide, which is a color changer. I'm not sure if it's sun or thermal. I forget. I ordered Blink, which is kind of like Erica, but it glows in the dark. Runway, which is a nude. And Kindle, which is a glow. So that's what I ordered. Um, oh, I also ordered one of their gel polishes, which I'll probably do a little video on. It was kind of open. Um, this one is Bet, which is one of my absolute favorite colors from them. It's a porcelain white. So I've never tried any of their gels um, as far as their gel colors. So I wanted to try one. I can say I have tried their nail polish and I hate it. Um, <laughs> so I really disliked the nail polish, um, but I wanted to try one of the gels and we're going to use Sweetheart today because we're going to do a Valentine's Day manicure and I want to pair it with a pink. I'm just not sure what pink yet because I literally just got this. So I want to put it on a couple of nails, the ones that I would want it on and see what it looks like and see if I'm going to just do a full manicure of this or pair it with something. So I also have these little decals. If I do like a light pink with it, I'm going to use these decals. Let's look at the liquids. Now my peel base is still drying, so I have to be careful with my left hand. I'm really excited. I made a post and asked and Quite a few people said yes, you wanted to see a review, so I purchased them. The price for the set of three is $29.98, but I had some Revel rewards. I hadn't purchased anything from Revel for a while, so this one is step one. Let's take a whiff of it while my peel base dries here. So this is, let me show you the consistency here, pretty thin. I do not like the Revel Dip Liquids, so I'm excited to see what these are like. Um, let me smell it. It barely has an odor. Um, I mean, I stuck that right up to my nose. I am a little nervous. Um, I tried an odorless Dip Liquid set before and it was bad. The activator reminds me of something. It smells kind of like regular activator, um, not quite as strong. And then this is gel. So their sensitive dip liquid set is dip base activator, which is low odor, and then a gel top coat. I'm going to tell you why I think they chose a gel top coat. Um, the odorless set that I purchased and used from another company. I was doing a video on it and the top coat wouldn't dry. Um, no matter what I did, I waited 15, 20 minutes. It was still wet. It would not dry. Went back to the listing, looked at everything, did the instructions exactly. It would not dry. Um, I emailed the company well, I messaged them on Instagram and they did refund my money, but I tried it a few times after that and I could not get it to dry. So I'm thinking with low odor sets, there's an issue maybe with top coats, which is why maybe they chose to do a gel top coat. So that's what I'm guessing. I don't know if that's right. That would just be from my experience. I think I... I'm going to do this color on my thumb and index. It's flaky, so it's going to be a mess. But as I was saying before, my experience with odorless liquids, which I haven't tried a sensitive liquid, this would be my experience with odorless, is that I had an issue with the top coat. So. I don't know, like I said, maybe that's why they chose 
to do a gel top coat. I know in the comments, a lot of people on their posts were upset that they did a gel top coat for it, but I'm thinking that's probably why. Now, this is very, very, I mean, it's everywhere already. Revel does super, super pretty flakes, but they're super fine and messy. So I'm gonna lay a paper towel here. I'm gonna try really hard not to contaminate the liquids. Um, so I'm gonna take step one. I like the brush, it's pretty small. And I am going to just do a thin coat on the entire nail. So far at this distance, I smell nothing. And it went on pretty nice. I'm gonna lay in. Oh, that's pretty. Look at that. Clean up the cuticle. I still smell nothing. I wanted to film this and then put it up in a couple of days because I it takes me about 12 to 24 hours to develop symptoms. So that'll give me like, I should know by the time this video goes up so that I can either put it on the screen or put it in the description box and let you know if I had a reaction. Because like I said, I typically would show, I'm wiping off the brush because there's little flakies all over it already. Okay, I'm just gonna lay, put, hold the brush aside here. I will know probably by tomorrow afternoon if I'm having a reaction. So I'll know pretty quick. Low odor, well, not low odor. Um, the odor list that I used dried pretty slow, so I don't know, I don't wanna dust these off yet. I'm thinking my light pink will look okay with it. So I'll just do probably, I'll do this one too. And then I'll do the light pink on the last two with the decals. So far it goes on really nice and thin. I like it more than the original. color that was like you know I love black and pink so and I knew I wanted to do this video right away because so many of you wanted to see it so I was like well Valentine's Day with that color is like I could literally just wear that but I really want to use my decals so yeah All right, now here's where it's gonna be difficult because I really need to not contaminate this brush in case I love these liquids and I wanna keep using them. I don't want to get that contaminated brush. The foils, well, I don't wanna say that because as soon as I say it, it'll happen. I was gonna say they don't really seem to be coming off on the brush, like they dust it off pretty well. This has a fine glitter, the foils or flakes, whatever you want to call them. And then the fine black powder. So I'm going to lay in again. Look at that. Oh my goodness. That is so pretty. This really tempts me to put it on all of my nails, but I really want to use my gnome. I also was thinking about doing my nails, um, shaping them into stiletto because I haven't had stiletto in a long time and these would be like the perfect stiletto length for me. So in my next video, you might see stiletto, but how pretty is that color? Stiletto in this would look so, so pretty. So far, I still smell nothing. Now this might be kind of a long video because I'm talking a lot, but so far I smell nothing. Zero, zilch, nothing at all. I'm kind of surprised actually. I 
and the liquid's going on nice. Um, I feel like the liquid from my memory, I mean, I used the Revel Dip liquids for a long time before I switched over to anything else because I was doing dip manicures long before I had an Instagram or anything. Um, and I feel like this goes on, I really need to wear gloves whenever I do this. Um, I feel like this liquid's going on way, way nicer. Did Revel recently reformulate all of their liquids? Because like I said, I didn't like their previous liquids, but this one's really nice. I just haven't purchased any in so long. I don't know if maybe they reformulated all of them. Let me know if you know, um, because I might have to try those, but they do give me a reaction, so maybe I wouldn't try those. Maybe I would just stick with these if I can. I don't know why I chose to do this color and contaminate everything, but uh, that was the choice I made. <laughs> I should have known better. I love their foils. They're just super messy, but they're so, so pretty. So far, I love these guys. I haven't smelled anything. Maybe we'll do blank a glow. why that got weird. We're gonna let that go. Probably my peel base. I flooded my, this one's kind of going on weird. I feel like it's my peel base being weird. I'm gonna pull that off. It's definitely my peel base, so I'm gonna have to file that then. We'll fill that in here in a second. Okay, I'm just gonna do a second dip click. These pieces here at the cuticle are from my peel base. I'm not sure why it did that, but weird. Didn't have, never had that happen before. <laughs> now we're kind of like flaked off. I grabbed a different brush that didn't have the red glitter on it, but it had shimmer on it, but well, that's okay. Um, <laughs> Blink is already glowing. It glows green. Revel does have like the best glows that I've tried. All right, I even busted out my Revel Clear. Got all my Revel stuff out. So, I'm gonna do the sensitive dip liquid. Let's put this over here. And just do a quick dip of clear.
Okay, Blink did not go on great. Um, but I think it was the powder. Some of their powders are a little thick and go on a little clumpy, but I should be able to hopefully fix it with our Buffy and Filing. I'm going to take the activator, which I told you already, it pretty much smells like activator, just a little more subtle. And I'm going to activate each nail. It feels different. I do smell that from here. Yeah, it's not like cold. My double dip activator and all of the others that I use are like cold whenever you put them on. This isn't cold. Maybe that's weird. I don't know. I'm just giving you all the facts. <laughs> all right, so I'm going to let that dry for a minute or two, and then I'm going to buff and file. Okay, we're done buffing and filing. Love this combo. And we're going to do our decals. They're from the same company I've used recently that I really like. Um, it's an Etsy shop. And I'm going to put a little bit of water into a bottle cap. Maybe I'll do those two on my ring and then one or two of the other ones on my pinky. I'm just going to kind of randomly put them on, I think. All right, so I'm going to cut as close as I can. These don't have like a plastic covering, so you don't need to worry about taking that off. And then I'm just going to drop it in the water for a second. And I'm actually going to, I got out my Rubble Gel Base. I'm going to apply it to the two nails that are getting the decals so that they'll stick. See how big this brush is? It's part of the reason I don't love these gels. I don't use them a ton. I just don't think it goes on very nice. Now I'm going to separate. I just kind of slide it off the back and you can use a jelly stamper, but my jelly stamper needs cleaned. It's like ridiculously dirty right now. And I'm just going to kind of haphazardly put a couple on. So I put it on and then pat it down. Look how cute. Oh, maybe I like that. Maybe I'll just do one on each corner. So that's pretty cute. Or maybe I should do more. Hmm, maybe I kind of like that though. Which makes me think maybe I should have a smaller. I'm going to grab one of these because if you see there's like smaller sizes. I'm going to cut out that small one of the guy with the polka dot hat. And for right now I'm just going to do one on the corner of each now and see. Maybe I like that better than putting them like all over like I was going to do. That was kind of cute. So let's throw him in there. I kind of blot it off. See how easily they separate and they don't lose their color. Like these, this company is really good. I've gotten water slides before that literally like disintegrate in the water and <laughs> It was awful. So I think I like that. I'm just gonna use some alcohol and wipe. Look how pretty that is. Wipe each nail. And I'm not gonna wipe those though, because I'll wipe my decal off. Now the only flaw that I see in Rebel's system here is if they're gonna do a gel top coat, they should be giving you a gel base coat too because if you apply just the gel top coat to your powder, you're likely to get peeling. You always want to apply a gel base, cure it, and then your gel top coat. Now, I need to do that anyway because my little decals, the top coat, even gel will kind of like separate on that. So 
that was my only criticism so far of the rebel liquids was that i thought that they should be at least saying that you might want to have a gel base to go with it because like i said i've experienced peeling i know a lot of others have whenever they've just gone in with the top coat so i'm using the rebel base and I'm gonna apply that to each nail, even on the nail that already has gel base, the two nails at the end, because with those, like I said, if I apply a gel top coat right on top of those, sometimes it'll separate on top of that decal. And I'm gonna cap the end. And after I cap the end, I just like to thin it out again. Isn't that color like, Perfection. I love it. So when I started having trouble with my rubble dip liquids and I looked up alternative methods and I found the gel method, I was like, okay, I'm going to try that. So I ordered a cheap lamp. This is low. That's why I keep dipping into it. So I ordered a cheap lamp on Amazon and the rubble gels. I even remember which one I used. I used their 2020 anniversary gel not gel dip color and it was a game changer for me i loved that method so so much more and that's why i kind of always go back to it i feel like the gel method is just so much easier but i have been kind of mixing and matching if you've noticed lately i've been using the cascade colorworks dip liquids a lot so I've been doing that and then I'm, sometimes I'll be, oh, well, I'm usually doing some kind of nail art. So I'm usually finishing up with a gel top coat. Now the Rebel gels are not HEMA free. So if you have a HEMA allergy, oh, that could be bad. So I'm going to cure. I'm going to take the gel top coat sensitive. I'm looking to see. It has the ingredients on here. The ingredients look different than these don't have. Yeah, they do. Hold on. The ingredients on here are slightly different than the original gel liquids. So I wonder what that means. Hmm. Well, if you go on their website, they'll have the ingredients and it may be like a low HEMA or something. I'm not sure. All right, so I cured the base. I'm gonna apply the gel top coat. I can say I've used the gel liquids quite a bit and this gel is way different than their others. It goes on much, much nicer. Yeah, I like that. I'm doing their matte on the two pink, like light pink nails though with the decals. Which I don't like that formula as much, but. Right, I'm gonna cure these. The brush is way, way different. Let me show you. See the shapes are way different. This one's like big and the liquid for the sensitive one is thinner and it's really nice. This one is thick, but if I put a shiny top coat on my decals, you might not be able to see them very well, so I like to do matte. And 
it's just hard to get a nice even application with this particular brush all right we're cured and we're gonna apply cuticle oil i have nothing bad to say about the revel sensitive liquids so far i'll let you know like i said um either on the screen or in the description box if i do have a reaction to them i would normally have it by tomorrow morning so we'll see but i didn't smell anything i had my boyfriend smell it he didn't smell anything so it's got a very faint odor but whenever i was this far away doing my nails i couldn't smell it at all so i really like them and they're worth a shot all right what do we think? Leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. Make sure you're subscribed. You follow me on Instagram, which is also linked down below. That's it for this one, guys. And I will see you in the next one.